We have now reached the final part of the von Neumann architecture. In this video, we will look at the fetch execute cycle. By the end of this video, everything we've covered will make complete sense as this cycle will help pull all the pieces together. All right, let's get started. First of all, what exactly is the fetch execute cycle? In simple terms, the processor will fetch data and instructions from memory. It will store them somewhere and then decode them so it understands the instructions. Once decoded, the instructions are executed, meaning the processor now performs these tasks or sends them out to another component to then perform the task. And then this cycle is repeated. And that's everything you need to know about the fetch execute cycle. But you still need to know how all of that works with the von Neumann architecture. Let's go. We've covered most of the registers involved in the von Neumann architecture. But there are two we haven't looked into just yet. That's PC and CIR. PC stands for Program Counter, and CIR stands for Current Instruction Register. But what are they used for? Let's find out now. The Current Instruction Register stores the instruction that is currently being processed. The Program Counter contains the address of the next instruction to be executed. Now, let's see how these work in the fetch stage of the cycle. During the fetch stage, the next instruction is fetched or taken from the memory address currently stored in the program counter. The instruction is taken from this location and stored in the CIR. The number stored in the PC is then incremented so that when the cycle repeats, the next instruction can be processed. It's easy to think of the PC register as a count or a counter variable like when you would use when you're programming. During the execute, once the instruction has been decoded, the processor passes a decoded instruction as a set of control signals to the appropriate components within the computer system. This process is then repeated. And that really is everything you need to know about von Neumann architecture.